at the Herco, 25 Highland Drive, Oaks Fair. I have been following the newspaper reports regarding issues the city is having with syntax. Please let me first take a moment to thank Tim Henry for voting against their appointment. At a meeting several months back, I had asked what steps the city administration was taking to pre prepare for the Act 32 changes in dealing with syntax. And what I had come to accept as a norm, I received a response of total silence. In the course of my regular employment, I have been dealing with these folks as well as seeing firsthand what a disaster this has become. <coughs> now, we have syntax as central but not solitary contributor to the de degrading of our borrowing ability. At this time, I have several questions for this council. Is anyone looking at removing syntax and going with another tax collection agency to handle these cities' remittances? How long has syntax been shorting the city with remittances to get us over $2 million behind? Has syntax offered any explanation as to why they are deficit in their remittances? As I know of other count counties, they have, in essence, fired some of the syntax some time ago. Will we be pushing for the same action? Has or is the city going to move legally either as a sole taxing entity or in conjunction with the county board to force syntax to remit what is currently due with penalties? And I know uh, Hazelton is already in process of fighting <coughs> syntax and I, I'd like to see the same thing happen here because I really don't want the city to lose out on the income. We need to uh, move forward and try to save the city. I can respond to something. Yeah. Um, the tax collection committee will meet next Wednesday. Um, I'm a member of that committee, I guess you've seen. And it's the it's that committee that has the contractual relationship with syntax. It's not each individual municipality. Um, so I'm not sure how Hazelton terminated that their relationship with syntax because they're part of Cleveland County. They have a representative on the committee. But I my understanding is that next Wednesday's meeting, the committee which is every municipality in Luzerne County, will be taking a vote on whether to terminate uh, the contract with syntax, and then after that, um, also to appoint a replacement for them. And I believe there's about four companies who responded to RFPs. So as early as next Wednesday, syntax could be terminated and a new entity may be in place to um, try to resolve the issues with the outstanding EIT money that's owed to everybody in Luzerne County. And my understanding is also that the, co the companies that are interested in replacing syntax think they can have the issues resolved fairly quickly, within maybe two weeks, and start getting uh, the money to the communities that need them. Um, so we have another week. Uh, meeting's the 22nd next Wednesday. It's a public meeting. I believe it's 6 o'clock at LCC. At the, which building? I know when I'm there, I don't know the name of the building off the top of my head. I, I can find out for you. If you want to call me later in the week or early next week, I can certainly find that out for you. We do know the outcome of the vote. And the, the, city, the city is um, strongly considering and even preparing to file its own action against said tax, regardless of what the TCC does. But the city doesn't have the contractual relationship with said tax, but we've certainly been damaged. Did they respond to you? Like, was there, did you receive any money from syntax? That's, that's the last question you're going back and forth. Yeah, I believe yes. we did. Yeah, I believe we have received we some. We have received some distribution. Just not nearly as much as we're not more but but what, they, what they said in the paper, you over $2 million past due? It, that isn't actually accurate. It, it's more now like $1.1 .1 at this point in time. But if this continued, we would be in, you know, more millions. So, um, you know, the move is to actually, uh, you know, get them removed and, and to move on, but hopefully one of the other responds to the RFP. But um, we do, they did make some distributions. But certainly not enough. Okay, thank you. Thank you.